guys, so seeing as how I'm recording on my phone again, I'm gonna do my own intro. <laughs> okay. Um I am really sorry if my air conditioner is loud, and if it is, I'm just gonna do a favor and be extremely loud myself. Um, anyways. The Trisha and Jason saga continues. Okay, um, so pretty much, like, I don't know if you guys have been keeping up, keeping track. My sunglasses keep falling off. What is going on? Um, sorry, my hair is, like, wet because I took a shower and it's, like, not dry yet. Um, anyways, so, maybe I should just, I'm just going to leave these on my face. Screw it. So, um, anyways, basically couple more videos were uploaded. Um, Jason had made a video apologizing, saying, you know, I owe her an apology. That was nice that he did that. Um, and Trisha, okay, so this is the crazy part, though. She uploaded a video about the a chicken parm mukbang bang that they did. And you can see the like to dislike ratio is insane on that video. So many people disliked it. Like, she probably doesn't even know what to do. But, um... I don't think she expected that to happen, but, like, now that we know what's going through his mind, like, as he's doing these things, it's hard, like, to not understand, you know what I mean? Like, sitting there and realizing, like, he doesn't want to be doing this, he doesn't want to be eating these foods, he's got, you know, his own issues, which it sounds like it's, it's, I would compare, I would say what he's dealing with, I would consider that to be a, a type of eating disorder, um, which is very sad, and I think Trisha also has a type of eating disorder too, it doesn't matter what kind they are, but, um, you know, there's all different kinds of eating disorders and disorders of food, um, and it's just, it's very sad, I need to read it, look at my hair, it's a mess, I burnt my fingers on too, but anyways, <laughs> to continue, um, so, like, watching that video now and knowing, like, what he's thinking and what he's going through, it's, it's kind of crazy to watch and, like, to see, like, Okay, so, like, now we know he's, like, not comfortable doing this, and we're watching, and it's like, you know, you can see, like, on his face that he's not happy with himself, and it's like, and I, I don't think it's, I, I, you know, it's a very, that's a very tough situation that they're in, you know, because they're both dealing with a mental health issue. Well, that's what it comes down to. Um, I think that... Like, before I, you know, say this, I just want to say I'm starting a um, intensive outpatient mental health program this week. Um, now, therapy is something that's good for everybody. A anybody can benefit from therapy. I think it would be very good for each of them to go to therapy for this problem that they have um, and maybe try and work it out and, like, be supportive of each other. They could still have a relationship but learn to um, help each other through this issue. You know what I mean? Like... It's not impossible to have an issue and, you know, have this, like, uh, for example, a lot of people think, like, if you're, like, you know, a lot of people, like, who are addicts and stuff, they say an addict and another addict will never make it. They'll never make it. But, um, I've seen it happen, you know? People can work out their issues together as a team. If you really love each other, they can do it. And he said in his video he's not over her, and she clearly is not over him. Like, they've only been broken up for, like, what, five days? Like, I'm sure they still love each other, and I'm sure, I hope they will end up back together, because, um, he made her very happy, that was obvious, and she made him happy, and, um, if, you know, the, the food is the only issue, I don't think it's the food that's the issue at this point, I think it's the mental health aspect of it that's the issue, and I hope that, you know, this is an eye-opener to the both of them that maybe some type of uh, therapy would be helpful. Like, you know what I mean? I think that at this point, um, it was very sad to watch that mukbang video with um, him and Trisha and knowing what's going on in his mind. And it was hard also knowing what's going on in her mind. Um, maybe those aren't good, good videos for them to film together. They could still have a relationship. Like without, it's not, first of all, they don't live together, you know, so it's like, you know, Trisha can eat whatever she wants, you know, in the mor for breakfast or lunch, and they can hang out at a dinner and eat what he wants, you know, and, and there you go, problem solved, right there, or like, you know, if, um, she wants to do a mukbang video, she can do it, but he doesn't need to be in it, 
he doesn't need to partake in it. You know, he could help film it maybe, but he doesn't need to do it. You know, it's, it's okay. Like in a relationship, like not, you know, not everybody likes the same music, but does that mean they should break up? Absolutely not. Look how weird my hair looks. It's like, looks really bad because it's like half wet still and like half dry. And I had it like up. So it's all like crinkly. Okay. Sorry guys. But anyways, um, so basically, yeah, that's how I feel, and I know a lot of people in this day and age have a lot of issues with food, and it's it's really sad, because, like, I do understand that, because I've had issues with it for a very long time myself. Like, you will never catch me not wearing a sweatshirt, that's for sure, because I have issues too, you know? So I can understand firsthand where they're coming from, where Jason's coming from, and where she's coming from. Okay, my cat's gonna break something. But, um... It's just, it's, it's sad to, like, to have watched that video, like, and it's like, now we know what's going through his head during this time, and it's just like, well, what are you going to do now to fix it? You know, are you guys going to try and fix it? Is there, are you guys going to try and do something different? Like, what is the plan now? Like, now you guys know what's a trigger to each other. I, I wish that they did this offline, <laughs> but then again, they do kind of, like, you know, make their lives public, whatever. But, um, I think this was probably something that should have been discussed offline. But you know what? The good part about it going online is they got a lot of different, um, opinions from people who, like, have an outside perspective. Like, outside looking in. And sometimes those are the best, like, best advice you can get is from people outside looking in. Like, you know, who aren't directly, you know, that way you have no but like I am not biased whatsoever in this situation I don't know if you guys can tell by the first video I made I'm not biased I um I, I think they're both like they seem like cool people um they're both good youtubers like they both I've been um subscribed to Trisha for a very long time um I think Jason is hilarious um I think they're both great and they're great together they I think they're awesome together um I see Trisha's point, you know, you only live once, you might as well, why, why restrict yourself when, to certain things that you love, I get that, but then again, if we all did that, I mean, I'd still be doing drugs, <laughs> you know, just because you live once and you like something and, you know, there's only one life to live doesn't mean that you, sh it's okay to like, I mean, I'd say like, you know, if I could go out to dinner, even, I, I don't think, I, I go out to dinner maybe once every eight months like you know and and that's that's what normal people do normal people do not go out to dinner that often like i wish i could but it just isn't really like that but anyways i'm hoping them the best um and i hope that they can work this out in a way where they can uplift each other you know like they can you know trisha can be understanding of jason's issues and his needs um, and what he's going through and he can also be, you know, think before he says certain words and <laughs> maybe Trisha can get back into dancing because that's what she likes and Jason can do like his exercise routine because there's nothing wrong with wanting to be healthy at all. So I don't know. I'm very interested to see what happens in the future. I have been like well, keeping up with this like crazy because I really, I, I'm very interested to see how it goes and what happens. Um, but it's very clear that you can see that Jason is not happy with himself. He's not happy with, like, his body and stuff. And that's very sad. I mean, it's sad, like, oh, my God, my cat is just going to break everything. Like, um, it's sad when you can literally see it. Like, it's, ra like, there, when, to see, like, his emotions about it radiating off of him, that sucks. And it's sad. Sorry, I got to set this down and fill my baby. Um, it sucks and it's sad to see. Like, you can literally see the uncomfortableness and it's like it's not anything she's doing because you know he like in that video he agreed to like order the food and stuff and part of it but you could also see that he was happy about it but that he was unhappy too and he showed some signs in that video of somebody who has a disorder with food like cutting your food into small pieces and stuff like that that's a very clear sign you know what I mean from somebody who's had an eating disorder and struggled with food issues for a very long time. I can tell you like that there's a lot of signs in that video that show <coughs> he's got some issues. Um, and I think he should, I think therapy would be good for both of them. And I'm saying that from somebody who's starting therapy soon. Therapy 
can never be negative. It's never going to be a negative for anybody. Therapy is can will never be a negative thing for anyone. It, it, nobody, there is not one person in the world that I know that would not benefit from therapy. Um, it gives you somebody to talk to. You know what I mean? And I think that'd be great for both of them. And I hope that they both decide to take that type of route. Maybe, like, go individually, and then they could go together, you know? I mean, do I think that it's something to break up over? Not necessarily, um, but at the same time, when I look at what Jason and how he feels, I think that he needs to work on himself, that's for sure. And he needs to get his mental health in order <laughs> before it gets worse, because <laughs> um, in that video... To me, to me, and this is my opinion, it looked clear that he has a, a serious issue, you know, um, and I would not want to see that get worse for him because, you know, eating disorders and stuff is not just, and a lot of people, like, really think of, like, women, you know, when it comes to eating disorders, and there are so many men who suffer from that, too, so I just, I hope to see that, you know, he can do what he needs to do to make himself mentally happy and physically happy. And same with Trisha. And maybe if they can do it together, they can do it separate and then try and get back together. Or maybe they just aren't good. I don't know. I don't know because in real, like in all honesty, no, we don't really know them, you know, just what they show us. So, yep, that's my input on that second video and how I feel. Um, let me know how you guys feel in the comments down below. I'm really interested to know, like, how you guys feel about the situation. Um, I don't think, like, I'm not the type of person who's going to say, oh, I'm team Trish, team Jason. Like, I, I'm, I'm team mental health, team both of them, team I hope that they can work this out, team whatever makes them happy. <laughs> that's, that's what I am. But, um, I do see with Trisha and with him that this is more than just um like wanting to eat healthy there is definitely some mental health issues involved and that's not something that should be ignored um and i think that they both should maybe look into a therapist um separately like uh so they can work on their issues but that's just my own opinion um and again, like I'm, uh, therapy is not a bad thing. Therapy is a great thing. I'm starting uh, therapy. It's gonna be nine to five every day, because I want to. Because I know it's good for me. Um, I gotta wipe this off again. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. And um, I do want to start live streaming again. Leave a comment down below if you guys miss my live streams, because I miss you guys and I love you guys so much. And um, yeah, and I recorded this on my phone, so sorry if it's really crappy, but I just wanted to kind of sit on my bed and talk to you guys about it. My back hurts really bad, and my foot's been killing me. My family left, so right now I'm just kind of trying to deal with that in the best way that I can. Um, I went to a, a meeting the other day, and I think I'm going to start going to more meetings again, because it actually made me feel really good. Um, so... I think I'm going to, up until I actually start this uh, program, I'm going to start going to meetings um, as many as I can because, you know, I, I forgot how good they make me feel. But anyways, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I love you guys so much, and please let me know down below how do you guys feel about this whole situation, and what else should I talk to you guys about? Because I miss talking to you guys. What do you guys want to know about? What, should, what do we want to chit-chat about? Um, there's so much stuff we could talk about. I mean, there's so much drama going on right now. And we all love... Okay. Guilty pleasure. We all love the drama. Come on. Let's be real here. Alright, I love you guys. And I will talk to you later. Bye!